I'm Nixie Pixel, and you're watching OS Alt, your source for open source. Dare I say it, today I'm reviewing a new, exciting, and completely non-Ubuntu Linux distribution. I'll give you a hint. It's beefy, it's miraculous, it's beefy miracle. Brought to you by Jack Threads. Last week I was in Portland for OzCon, learning tons of stuff at my very first open source convention when I first met Beefy. Could it be an RPM package managing GNOME 3 user interfacing distro that Torvalds admits to using? I had to give Fedora a shot, at table tennis at least. Yes! You can see how that match went later in the video. Now for my review. Here's Beefy Miracle, the Linux distro where Fedora has promised over and under the bun improvements that show off the power and flexibility of the advancing state of free software. We'll see about that. Installing it is pretty easy and fast, and booting it as a live CD was even easier. The only thing I found to be a bit scary for me was the feature of automatic partitioning, but I'm probably just paranoid since it will certainly make the process much quicker and less painful. Fedora 17 is running GNOME 3.4 with not a lot of distribution-specific customizations. Fedora prefers to keep applications as close to the upstream as possible, which means very few usability improvements. Onwards to applications that come default on Fedora 17. The media player is Rhythmbox, which, eh, maso menos, you really can't beat VLC, can ya? There's a photo manager called Shotwell, which I personally don't have experience with it, but it's intuitively pretty good. Firefox is your internet browser, which you know I adore. And last but certainly not least, GIMP 2.8 is available upon default. It's orgasmic, really. If you've tinkered with open source software but haven't tried this photo editing powerhouse by now, it's a cry in shame because I feel that GIMP is truly comparable to Photoshop. I realize that's a tall order, so if you don't believe me, check out my review that's playing right now, and I've also posted it as a video response below. Now that I think about it, it's strange that Fedora 17 has the latest and greatest in photo editing, but they lack a good document editor like LibreOffice. It's just not there by default. Maybe because it takes up a lot of space on an install CD. Then again, when you go even deeper, I see that some common applications aren't even available in the default repositories. Basic programs are missing, like Chrome and Skype, so you need to enable third-party repos. Of course, all of this is no problem if you can do it manually, and there's a good GUI for installing applications not in the default repos, called AutoPlus. There's a boatload of features on Fedora 17 that I enjoy thoroughly, and some, unfortunately, that I couldn't try out, like the multi-touch capability that's new. Um, however, that does invigorate my desire for touchscreen displays. Anyway, I'm also loving how Fedora jumped on the cloud bandwagon and their amazing application for contacts. The contacts app will sync with your Google contacts and the system calendar syncs with your Google calendar. When adding an event, it correctly populates Google calendar with that event. If you're anything like me, Google Drive has kind of taken over your life for the better. And I really like the fact that the documents viewer in this release of Fedora syncs all documents stored on your Google Drive. The latest version of OpenStack, Essex, is available in Fedora 17, which can be used to set up and run cloud services and storage. Fedora has been a leader in providing security improvements upstream, and Beefy Miracle is as secure as ever, with SE Linux, Security Enhanced Linux automatically installed, and a default firewall that can be configured through a graphical user interface. Fedora 17 Software Manager Add Remove Package Kit is still not very pretty and a little cumbersome to use. It's much more efficient to use YUM, RPM's front end from the command line. I'm used to Debian-based distros and Apt seems to be faster to use, plus there seems to be more packages available on Debian. Fedora does have a large number of recent releases of programming languages available. It also provides a lot of system tools and has very good security. Adding to its vanilla GNOME interface, it seems that Beefy is targeted for developers and power users rather than the home user who just needs to surf the web and read email. The first thing I do when I install a new distro is to find awesome community-created content to help with any potential hangups. I check out fedoraforum.org and the fun community wiki fedorasolve.org. When you get right down to it, honestly, it's really hard to compare Fedora 17 with the other commonly used distributions like Mint and Ubuntu. Fedora's just in a completely different category. 
I mean, it doesn't really feel like it's designed with newbies in mind. I'd have no problem giving it a go for a while, but I've also had a couple years experience with Linux. That and I've beat Vifi Miracle's buns at ping pong. No Vifi, no! <laughs> Fedora 17 is delightfully stable and comes with no real add-ons, so it gives you that bare bones gnome shell feel. So I guess in that way it's good to develop your distro to be however you want it. But by the same token, you know, it may turn new users off. So there is a Fedora-based user-friendly distribution called Corora, and I'd be happy to review that. There's a KDE version and a GNOME version. Let me know if you guys want to hear about that. As always, thanks for watching OS Alt. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss next Friday's episode of All Things Open Source. It's the button up there that says subscribe. Oh if you're from a nudist colony, the following does not apply to you. However, if you love alternative apparel brands like American Apparel but hate wasting all your cash on them, listen up. You can score these premium brands at up to 80% off every day. There's a new invite-only shopping club just for guys called Jack Threads, serving up brand names at prices that will melt your brain. Now there's a wait list to join, but if you head over to jackthreads.com slash I'll give you free instant access to all the killer hookups.